Hey everyone, this is the Trader Investor coming to you with the uh, end of the market day analysis. I know it's a little late today. I just got a little busy and didn't get around to doing it, but it's just a lesson on where the market ended and what were some of the signs that I discussed this morning. That some of the areas that I wanted you to uh, have a caution before you proceed in any direction. And so let's start with the spies. The spies this morning I mentioned the low of last week was a potential headwind. The 15 minute range of yesterday was a potential headwind. And the, this uh, low of uh, last week could be an area of manipulation. So when we say manipulation, sometimes it's not as clean as you would normally see. It's not like price goes here and it immediately reverses and immediately reverses and you have this clean manipulation that you see in action. Sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes it's something similar to what we see today. So price reaches the low of last week and it immediately reverses. So someone would venture and say this is a rejection of this uh, level that is acting as a strong resistance because we were there yesterday, we were there last week, it's a rejection. And then it pulls back as a small rally. At this rally, some traders would panic because we're near VWAP, we're above the 15 minute range and they would sell their positions at break even, maybe at a smaller loss and not wait for their uh, stop loss to hit. And then what happens? Price gives them a little bit of an action again, and then it reverses potentially hitting their stop loss, whether it's a mental stop loss or an, an actual stop loss that they put. Now, the other problem is for those who were right, for those who were right but did not take profits, when price went from here to here, and they stayed in the trade thinking, well, you know, we did not break structure, therefore I'm considering this is a lower high and I want price to come down here. If you had this expectation, then you're in negative territory or maybe I'd break even by the end of the day. So what is good to note is because this is a potential area of manipulation, what you want to see is price test rejects it you want price to come back to retest it again and fall here or even better something similar similar to this price falls makes a lower high and keeps falling now this would be an entry either here or if you break a trend line here so you would enter here this would have been an entry now that Theoretically, that's the right entry. However, here's one of the things that I look at when I enter long or short positions. One, I want to see a high and a lower high. And then I want the VWAP to be significantly lower than my entry because that would be my target one in a scenario where price has pushed up for the day because I will show you an example. Oh, hopefully I can find an example for you here. Yes, I can find uh, two examples here for you. So here last week, Thursday, price made a high, went down, made a new high, then retested that high. And so at that level, you have double top here. At the double top, where is a significant entry? You can say immediately at the double top, I will enter or I will enter at the break of uh, this low or I will enter at the break of this trend line. So somewhere here, they're all uh, valid entries. But then what you have to calculate is the distance from your entry to the VWAP has to give you a dollar. That's For me, that's what gives me that comfort level. That has to give me a dollar. So if I was entering a little bit higher, 
from here to VWAP at dollar thirty-five, I might take this position. So that's how I would uh, look at it. So, so this is quite important to realize. Or even another possibility is if you say as soon as there's a double top and I get this rejection, I'm entering here from there to that VWAP at dollar forty-five. So about the same positions here. So I'm okay and comfortable with that. Now, uh, another example is the following day. Now, the following day, when you get a high and a high, and then you have these two bear bars, right? One after the other, breaking the low of the last bullish bar. That's a good entry for me. However, 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 there is no distance between here and here. There's only 55 cents. That is not enough for me to enter a, a position. That does not make me feel comfortable. So as a result, I look at the position of the VWAP, preferably my price when it's making a double top, it's making a double top, my price is above the 15 minute range and VWAP is below at least the high, if not the mid of the 15 minute range. That way I can target that $1 move. Even if it wants to turn out the halfway move, I can exit my position real quick. So this is what I want to look at. And so if that is not in play, when I enter a position, I am not taking that trade. So VWAP is above the 15 minute range. I don't have a devil top, like for uh, in the case of today, I have a lower high. I could say, okay, price is gonna push further, but I want VWAP as my target one. So that was not the case here. So this was not a good entry. Now on the reverse side though, a good entry would be when price bounces from the high of the 15 minute range, this is a good entry. If we get a pin bar or railroad tracks. So this is not that entry, but this was that entry. We have that pin bar followed by an inside pin bar at the break of the first pin bar, beautiful entry. So I took this entry, not in spies, but I took that entry in IWM. It gave us Look at how my drawings stayed almost similar, like right? it's almost similar. So we have, you know, break of structure for me. Uh, what I saw in IWM was a break of structure here when price broke and closed above the 15, the VWAP and price stayed above the VWAP. Railroad tracks here. This was a good entry and this was a good gain. For me so that's how i look at all of my trades is do i have a good entry and and because i was confident in this move i took this entry down here so i took that a dollar 91 move that was my entry and and this is how you have to take your risks and be willing to trade according to your risk, risk appetite so price didn't close below vwap I was comfortable enough to take that trade it, and it turned out to be good and sometimes it's a loss and that's okay you absorb those losses and while we, I'm in the IWM chart let me uh, turn over to one hour and show you something here so I drew this box and I'm going to keep this box because I want to understand is IWM in a uh, uh, reaccumulation or is it in a distribution or is it in a redistribution i want to consider all of that at play because we had a pullback and now we are consolidating at that pullback so could this be even an accumulation not a reaccumulation because my reaccumulation was looking at this box here right we come from here we rally we have that buying climax and then we are consolidating sideways 
and then we're making terminal shakeout but that's if you look at that whole box but if you're looking at it from a longer term uh, perspective we are actually coming down had a strong pullback and we are consolidating now after that pullback so what does that mean and i want to understand that picture so that's why i have this box here in the hourly so is this my terminal shakeout area to where price is going to continue to break structure break structure take care of this um, order block hourly order block take care of this imbalance and you know continue to break structure is that what's going to happen or is price now done with you know here's our uh bullish or bearish momentum is price going to continue to do this so this is yet to be seen until we get that confirmation we're just going to wait and see what happens it, whichever direction it wants to go we're ready to capture those moments so that's why i have this box here just it gives me a visual to pay attention when i come to this chart i pay attention to what is going on so let's go back to our 15 minutes and look at uh, the cues today the cues for me if you recall uh, when there is an uh, an order block and i believe i talked about this looking at the hourly order block right uh, the hourly chart when price has tested this order block i uh, i would normally say it will come up here but it wants to completely do this that's what i anticipate uh, for that order block to do but sometimes that doesn't happen so it, it is clear on a daily chart so sometimes you don't go fully close this uh, order block because for all intensive purposes this has already been mitigated as soon as price touches it it's mitigated so uh, you know depending on how well we have drawn our box how accurately we we drew it sometimes it's not too accurate so you know is that first touch that's why i play with it just slightly because it's from the open to the low that's that's how i draw mine and sometimes i you know if even if i'm not 100 percent accurate i'm okay because just in the zone so was this bar on the 11th enough to mitigate or did it require the following day of course following day it's clear that it was mitigated and then now does price want to continue and close this whole thing or will price make you know higher lows and continue to break structure we don't know that but that's i'm just keeping it here so that we are prepared whenever price decides what he wants to do that's why because we are in that zone i was not in a hurry to enter this trade uh, yesterday i talked about uh, breaking my own rule and entering a position when i have headwind that's not something that we want to do. We, we should not enter a position when we have a uh, headwind coming our way. When, uh, when we are near the 15 minute range, entering a position is not something we want to do prematurely. Right? So that's, that's why we have to be careful. In this instance, we had some room to go. Yesterday, this is yesterday no it was not today it was yesterday when the cues broke out of the 15 minute range i broke two rules as i mentioned yesterday one the two minutes did not close above i entered anyway and two my high of yesterday and the high of the previous day were lined up so that was not a clear sign a clear sign is always i break above this i test it and and resume this is a confirmation because this is already something that tells me i could act like a strong support resistance they always do you you go back to your charts and look at the 15 minute range they always act like a good support and resistance today price could not penetrate that area
so it's acting as a good support and resistance so let's be mindful of that in the spice uh, that 15 minute range the high could not be breached the mid was acting as a level of support resistance that mid lined up with last week's low and the low was uh, negotiated was overcome but price could not break above the mid and the high of yesterday so be mindful of all of those as we enter position so as a result in the queues i was not comfortable to enter a long position but then on the short side where based on where vwap was there was no clear break of structure that made me comfortable to enter position so i did not take those positions uh, iwm gave you a couple of good entries in addition to the last couple of hours long position you had a short entry here so you have a break of vwap right uh, this bar this bar this bar any of these bars could be considered a break of vwap as a signal entry and then this bar here tested the vwap but failed to push up so at the break of the previous bar was a good entry for a target at least a dollar move and so we got we got our dollar two dollars and 37 cents move so that was a good entry uh, as, as headwind you, you had 189 uh, so the midpoint was another headwind so if you were not comfortable entering because of that uh, midpoint that's also perfectly fine uh, not every trade uh, is something that makes everyone comfortable so you didn't have to take this because the midpoint could act as as a headwind uh, so for me where I was comfortable to take the position is I saw a break below midpoint and I saw price barely close above it so as soon as I get this rejection bar this was my entry this was my entry targeting a, a dollar I, I broke my rule but that was okay uh, it, it just worked out I broke my rule meaning was there a dollar from here to here there, it was about 82 cents so I targeted the lows of yesterday as a potential area which uh, which worked out again sometimes uh, we kind of make mistakes and take some trades not mistakes but intentionally take some trades and have have tighter stops and those things happen and that's okay uh, because those are learning moments if it, if it works out don't repeat it but just know that okay uh, you know i took this trade prematurely it worked out this time but like um, in the queues yesterday it doesn't work out uh, so uh, the idea is just to use this as a learning opportunity uh, and you know don't try to make mistakes diamonds uh, very beautifully set up uh, had the pin bar at the test of the 15 minutes range this was a beautiful entry if anybody took this entry it was beautiful i had already uh, focused on iwm but this was a beautiful entry and i always mention exit your trades at the end of the day don't swing them when you're doing 15 minute chart analysis my reason is i don't know where price is going to open it gives you a good entry a good profit why not just exit because if you have done 10 contracts 20 contracts you've captured significant amount why risk it and give all that back even if you have a very tight stop even if you have very tight stop markets could gap down and that tight stop is irrelevant so that's why i i re highly recommend if you if you're day trading meaning you're trading based on 15 minute charts then uh, i suggest ending uh, the day by closing your positions but if you're doing hourly charts 
And here's why the hourly chart is slightly different. You have structure, overall structure of the market. You have overall structure of the market is an uptrend, sideways uptrend, sideways broken. Now, if price wants to resume the uptrend as a swing trade, you can say, okay, high, lower high, lower high, low, lower low, lower low, but now opposite side, higher low. So does this higher low mean we are going to break this highs or are we going to break even this highs here because we are making a higher low if we are making a higher low i don't know if i said lower low earlier but i mean this area is a higher low if we are making a higher low are we now making a higher high to break the structure are we going to break the structure if we break the structure, then we resume and we can hold those positions for a couple of days. Those can be swing positions. But if we're not swing trading based on hourly charts, on 15 minutes charts, definitely not. Hourly chart and greater, definitely okay for swing trading because even though we're looking at 30 days out options, which are a little bit more pricier, but we're reducing our contract size right we're not if we do 10 on the 15 minutes chart we're definitely not going to do 10 on the hourly chart we're, we might do one or two uh, to reduce our risk to the same acceptable risk of one to two percent of our account size but we can hold it longer expecting a much bigger move right we're not expecting a hundred dollars per contract move we're expecting two, three, four hundred dollar per contract move somewhere between 70 and 100 percent return on our position. That's what we're expecting, because if you take short positions, the movement is significant, right? The movement is, you know, nine dollars in two days. So these are the kind of movements we are anticipating when we say we break structure, break structure low higher low if i break this structure here if i break this structure and i enter this position my expectation is in a couple of days i have somewhere better than 70 percent return on my investment because price gives me this significant move right eight dollars so that's my expectation so that's why i say for swing trading it's acceptable to hold because we're looking at break of structure. But for day trading, we're looking at the shorter time frames. That's what we're looking at. This is where the markets uh, ended up giving us today. And looking at the futures, it looks like the futures want to keep pushing price up. And that's also a good sign. But we want to see in the morning how far they push the price up. All right, everyone, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to come back in the morning as I give you more analysis. Take care, everyone.